Hi YouTube, this is Largo64. Um, I've been hearing a lot um, in recent months about uh, artificial intelligence and the fact that it's expected fairly soon that computer chips will be miniaturized to the size of molecules. Now when, not if, that happens, um, it can't be very long before something approaching true artificial intelligence is brought about. So um, I have some questions for you. If man can make a computer that can actually think and be self-aware, will the man then still have the right to tell the computer what to do? Um, he'll have the power, of course, because he can pull the plug kill it, in, after a manner of speaking, or reprogram it. But really, uh, the only programming I'm talking about for this computer is the servo mechanisms necessary to make everything else work. But an artificially intelligent computer, one that can think and knows itself, um, it brings up some questions to my mind. One, does the, for the people who believe in such a thing, does this computer have a soul? And two, if it does, does it have or should it have free will? And three, does it actually have any rights at all? Now these questions come from my observation that our humanness seems to come from our ability to think and reason at least as much as from our physical structure. Consider also, if you could support a human brain outside of a human body, that is, keep it alive and functioning, would you now have a human being, an artificially animated brain, or something else? And would that have a soul? Um, my personal thought is that having created a thinking, self-aware being, the maker would not have the right to order it in any way at all. Now, it seems clear that mammals of the higher orders are also self-aware. Dogs, cats, apes, certainly. Much less intelligent than human beings, though. So if we gauge humanness on a level of intelligence, what is the criterion before something is considered non-human? For example, if you have a man whose intelligence is on the same level as a chimpanzee, is that considered a non-human? Or is he still a man? And if so, are we not basing his humanness on physiognomy at least as much as on intelligence? Does he have a soul? Does the chimp, with equal intelligence, not? That's a bunch of, it's a handful of questions anyway. Um, and I'm sure that there are a variety of answers out there. I'm kind of anxious to see what your thinking is on this. Um, thanks for watching.